Hola, Jota. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you for inviting me in this uh, conference. First of all, this is a great opportunity for me to speak here in front of uh, the camel experts and a lot of the uh, other scientists and most of them are my teachers. So this is a very honor for me. So let's start. Uh, today, I will talk about the effect of prepartum amino potentiation with vitamin E and selenium on neonate immunity and postpartum reproductive health of the trometry camel. So uh, my presentation will be uh, comprised of the introduction, materials and methods of the results, uh, conclusion and future recommendations. So if we talk about the livestock sector in the Pakistan, about 11.69% value added GDP comes from the livestock and 60.56% agricultural GDP comprised on the livestock. Uh, 30 to 35 percent of the income of the rural economy comes from the livestock sector and more than 8 million rural families obtain their livelihood by this sector and about 3.1 percent uh, exports of the country uh, comes from the livestock and this is source of the foreign trade for Pakistan. Now, if we talk about the global population, the present global population is 7.7 .7 billion uh, and which may reach up to 11 billion people in 2100, 2100. So the major problem uh, is the food security. Global food demands will continue to rise due to this increase in the population. Uh, and if we talk about the food demands, uh, uh, food should increase by the, uh, according to the United Nations, the food production should increase 60%. Uh, and according to the FAO, it should increase to the uh, 70%. And if we talk about the malnutrition and protein deficiency, uh, more than 200 million people are malnourished in Pakistan, uh, and uh, there is a protein deficiency of 10 grams per capita per day in Pakistan. So the role of the camel, uh, it, it may play a role uh, definitely in the food security, uh, transportation, economy, garments, industry, and uh, eco-friendly animal. Camel. Uh, the potential of the camel and limitation factors. Uh, the worldwide camel population is 35 million and Pakistan 1.1 million population uh, ranking on the eighth in, among the camel racing countries in the world. Uh, new unit mortality up to 50% in the camel, it is reported. Uh, up to one month mortality is higher as compared to the adult camel, uh, which indicates the low passive immunity, economical loss of the calf, uh, that is another uh, problem and the lactating she camel stop producing milk uh, due to this uh, death of the calf that can also affect the camel raising community. Uh, so this research was conducted at the Camel Breeding and Research Station Rakhmani under the supervision of Professor Dr. Zafar Iqbal Qureshi, who was also present here. Uh, so the 10 animals was selected for this research uh, five in the control group and five in the treatment group. Uh, injection of the V cell or uh, prepartum immunopotentiation for prepartum immunopotentiation, injection of the vitamin E and selenium uh, was used uh, before one month of the parturition. So two injections, uh, two shots of the injection were injected. Uh, one, uh, first was the 30, uh, 30 days before the expected parturation and second shot 15 days before the expected parturation. Uh, so the blood and the colostrum samples were collected uh, after the birth uh, at the uh, day one, uh, second, third, seventh, and 14th day postnatal and postpartum. Uh, uh, from the dam, colostrum was collected and from the cough, blood was collected. So the determination of the uh, neonatal status of the cough and the dam, uh, a lot of the physical parameters and the hematological parameters was uh, recorded and evaluated. Uh, so here you can see the difference of the two coughs, healthy cough and the sick cough. The sick cough, which is here in the picture, you can see here, the mother, uh, the dam of this cough was died. 
uh, at just uh, third or the fourth day of the parturition. So this cough did not consume much colostrum from the dam. That's why you can say that uh, you can see the health of this cough. And here you can see the healthy cough uh, who consumed the uh, enough colostrum. And here you can see the instance of mastitis. This is the severe clinical mastitis in the camel. Uh, that was also very high in the that group, which did not receive the vitamin E and selenium injection. And the uh, camel uh, postpartum reproductive evaluation was done by the rectal palpation and later with the ultrasonograph. So if we talk about the results, uh, the incidence of dystocia, uh, that was uh, dystocia, that was 40% in the control group and 0% in the treatment group. The placenta expulsion time uh, in the minutes, that was 204 minutes in the control group and 74 minutes in the treatment group. The lotia excretion time, that was 8.2 days in the control group and four days, 4.6 in the treatment group. Incidence of mastitis was 42.86% in the control group and treatment group 33.33%. Duration of the complete uterine involution that was 43% uh, in the uh, 43 days, actually, sorry, 43 days in the control group and 35 days in the treatment group. So the effect of treatment on the neonatal parameters the male to female uh, ratio that has nothing to do with this research but that has been recorded just for the uh, uh, just for the data for future 60 percent uh, the male percentage and uh, con in control group 60 percent male and 40 percent female while in the treatment group 80 percent male and 20 percent female birth weight uh, newborn cough that was 40 40 kg uh, around in the control group and 47 kg in the treatment group. And it was recorded that the male costs were higher uh, in the birth weight as compared to the female. Neonatal mortality that was 40% uh, in the control group while in the treatment group, 0%. Uh, so uh, for the immunity, passive immunity check, there was certain enzymes that were mired in the uh, blood or the, in the serum of the cough. So the LDH lactate dehydrogenase enzymes that was mired at the uh, before the pre C means uh, pre colostrum, uh, day second, day third, day seven, day fourteen. So there was a significant difference at the day fourteen between the control and treatment group. Two to eight point uh, eight. Uh, that was the reading of the LDH in the control group and two seventy in the. Uh, in the treatment group. So the, uh, the ALP, alkaline phosphatase, alkaline phosphatase, uh, that was also uh, higher in the control group at day 14. In the GGT, there was no uh, non-significant effect by all the sampling days. So these are the results for the uh, cough serum and the colostrum IgG concentration. The cough serum, uh, the IgG concentration was higher at the day second and day three in the treatment group, while at all the days, uh, other days, there was non-significant effect. The dam colostrum, uh, there was a higher uh, IgG concentration in the colostrum at the day one and day two uh, in the treatment group. So there was the IgG was more uh, in the treatment group due to the amino potentiation uh, the IgG concentration was higher. So in conclusion, the level, uh, level of the aminoglobulin level IgG in the colostrum of the dam was significantly higher with the supplementation of vitamin E and selenium. Cough mortality and morbidity was significantly decreased in the treatment group, which indicates the better transfer of passive immunity. And the postpartum reproductive health, including the incidence of dystocia, duration of the placenta expulsion, lotia excretion time, and complete uterine involution was significantly reduced in the treatment group. So the future recommendations, uh, vitamin E and selenium injection during the last month of the gestation to increase the neonatal survival, that can help the camel community. 
community awareness we should arrange community awareness uh, at the local level to the camel farmers uh, towards the commercial camel farming in pakistan uh, and the camel cough fattening business that that is the future of the camel in the meat industry camel dairy farming under the intensive management that may that should also be promoted thank you